Welcome sa sip9.com In this video ay pag-aaral natin paano ba yung derivation ng, ng uh, distance formula. No? This video is a continuation of the previous video na ang title ay uh, Finding the Distance Between Two Points. So I suggest na panoorin nyo muna yon kung hindi nyo pa napapanood before you watch this video para mas maintindihan nyo siya. No? Mas maintindihan nyo siya ng mas mabuti. So you go to the playlist on a distance formula and Look for the video on uh, finding the distance between two points. Okay? So, tuloy na natin yung ating lesson. So, meron tayong dalawang points, point A and point B. At yung point A natin, merong coordinates na x sub 1, y sub 1. And point B with coordinates x sub 2, y sub 2. And from the previous video, ang sabi natin, if you want to find the distance between point A and B, it is the same as finding the length of segment AB. So we can we can actually draw the line segment because the distance between A and B is the same as the length of AB. No? And in the previous video also, we chose a point, a third point, no? which will make the which will make the segment become the the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So the long points on pointing dito, sorry, pointing dito. And pwedeng dito. So, hanapin natin yung pangatlong point. Huh? So, hanapin muna natin yung coordinates ng point na to. Tignan natin yung x-axis. Ano ba ang x-coordinate niya? So, yung point na to, kapareho siya ng x-coordinate nito, no? So, ito x sub 1. Kasi kung titignan natin yung x-axis, no, nandito. Ito yung x-coordinates nito. Uh, ng A. And ito rin yung x-coordinate ng point na to. So, pareho sila na, for example, yung C, na, C ang name ng point na to, this is X sub 1, ano? X sub 1. Ano naman ang Y coordinate nito, point na to? So, pareho naman siya ng Y coordinate nitong B, no? Kasi kung titignan natin yung Y axis, yung B ay nakatapos siya dito at yung Y, sorry, at yung Y coordinate nito ay yan dito rin, no? So, this is, Ano ang, ang y coordinate ng b? This is y sub 2. So, meaning, the coordinates of c are uh, x sub 1, y sub 2. So, nahanap na natin yung coordinates. Pwede na natin i-connect yung ating triangle. Huh? So, ano yung susunod na gagawin natin? So, sunod natin na gagawin is to find the length of the legs, ano? So, ano ba yung length nung BC? No? Kung titignan natin yung length ng BC, is the same as the length of, no? of the point here up to here, no? So, from here, ano po tong point na to sa x-axis? At yung point na to, tingnan natin yung x-coordinate nito. This is x sub 1. No? So this is x sub 1. And this is x sub 2. Ano? And if you want to find the coordinates or the length of from x sub 1 to x sub 2, then we have to subtract, di ba? Yung sinasabi natin sa video on uh, absolute value and if, if you want to find the distance between two points na horizontal or vertical we just have to subtract their coordinates and find the absolute value no x sub 2 minus x sub 1 your absolute value ensures that the difference whatever calculation we have inside is positive so kahit balik ta rin man natin yan magiging positive pa rin siya okay so if we say length na to is x sub 2 x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Absolute value. Okay? So next, we find the length of this uh, line segment. Ano? So, yung length ng line segment na yan ay the same as the length from here, no? which is y sub 2, no? yung y coordinate niya, up to here up to y sub 1. No? 
Yan naman yung coordinates niya. Y sub 2 and Y sub 1. So from here, yun naman yung measure natin. Which is the same as here also. No? So this is Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Ibig sabihin, tong segment na to is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and then ah, absolute value. Ano? Okay, so nakuha na natin yung length ng dalawang legs ng ating triangle. And from here, by Pythagorean theorem, no? naalala nyo, pag ang C ay hypotenuse, no? Yung segment na ito is C, small c. Ito yung, ito yung angle C. Malaking C ito. So, no? so, C, and this is A, and this is B. No? So, sabi natin, by Pythagorean theorem, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So, this is the hypotenuse, and these are the two, le two legs. No? So, we have uh, C squared is equal to, yung A natin is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus the B natin is y sub 2 y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Ano? So, ano mangyayari dito pag Kinuha natin yung C. A C is actually the hypotenuse, di ba? So C is the same as the distance between A and B. So C is equal to the square root. Hindi na natin mabaguhin yung gulay. Ano? Pinakita ko lang kung saan siya galing. So this is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The absolute value of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the absolute value of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? So C, pwede natin gawing distance yan. So... Distance equals, C is the hypotenuse, but we are actually getting the distance. I did define na lang natin ito, but di na natin ito gagawin. Ano? Uh, naintindihan naman natin na we're referring to D for distance of, nagagay na rin natin, distance between, between A and B, no? Dito. So, square root of, now, meron kayong mapansin, in-square natin yung whatever inside, ano? Yung, yung whatever the result of the calculation inside we square. So, kailangan pa ba natin yung absolute value? Hindi na kailangan kasi pag in-square natin, ibig sabihin positive na yun, ano? Kasi negative times negative is also positive. So, pwede na lang natin ilagay yung parenthesis instead of plus, instead of, of the absolute value sign, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, quantity square. Okay? So, kung napapansin ninyo, kung tinignan ninyo yung mga libro ninyo, ito yung tinatawag natin na distance formula. No? And this is the general formula for finding the distance between two points. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung formula na ito um, kung uh, kahit anong point man yung inyong uh, kahit, or kahit anong two points, if you want to find the distance between uh, those two points, you can use this, this formula. No? Siguro magkakaroon tayo ng application sa susunod natin na post. Okay? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.